putting Luna moth caterpillars into a host plant, which in, the, in this case is a sweet gum tree, which is what they feed on. Eventually, within the next two to three weeks, they're going to form cocoons and open up as the full-fledged lunar moth. Even though lunar moth is not an endangered species, they are kind of rare for this area. And this is really a practice run. We want to see how this works out for us because in the future, we hope to release the Florida Adela butterfly, which was a butterfly that was, all, that was extinct, they thought at one time, and is slowly coming back. Uh, so that's what we're trying to do. But these Luna Moth caterpillars are courtesy of Metamorphosis Butterfly Farm, and uh, she grows a lot of our native butterflies. It's illegal to release exotic butterflies, but we are, it's okay to release butterflies that are endemic or natural to this area. And uh, she has a lot of those, and she donated these to us so we can kind of practice and, and get it done right. We put the caterpillars in a sweet gum tree. In this case, it's a Formosan sweet gum. And that's one of the, the plants, one of the few plants that the, the, the Luna moth caterpillars will, will feed upon. They like uh, hickories and sumacs, and in this case, sweet gums. We have sweet gums downtown. The caterpillars that we're putting in this tree are encased in a bag. Uh, that air movement can go through and, and uh, we'll, we'll have to move that bag around periodically to different branches so the caterpillars can eat fresh leaves. So that's why we put this bag up in the tree. And again, within two to three weeks, we should have moths. The Luna moth is one of the largest moth species in the United States. The wingspan is 4.5 inches, which is pretty good size. And uh, they're real showy moths if you look them up and, and look up a picture. They're real showy.